Hi guys, it's Lana from Sage and Sound with video 7 and the final video in the Climate Change Anxiety series. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about in terms of unhelpful thinking is a style of thinking called magic wand thinking. And we often are using magic wand thinking when we're looking at a scenario and there's a few different options and none of them are as we like so you know each uh, option has benefits but also like normally a strong level of consequences attached to it and uh, the magic wand part comes in where we start hoping for a magical third solution to appear so sometimes we really externalize this onto other people and say things like if only um, if only this person would do this then the planet would be okay um, and the other way that it often manifests is we just hear ourselves saying things like I wish that I could only hope that um, so words like wish uh, and hope less so they're just not very um, action oriented they're they're just kind of imagination words they don't lead to a lot of change so if you catch yourself wanting a solution to appear or hoping that a solution will appear that kind of just magically fixes the problem um, it's probably not going to happen <laughs> and thinking that way does block us from taking action so you know if you think there's two choices and you don't really like either of them then you start wishing and hoping for a third solution to appear and normally that's got the benefits of both your options and none of the consequences or very few um, but as long as you hold on to that magic wand thought if only it could be like this you won't take action um, because you're waiting for something to happen that's very unlikely to show up. So the waiting kind of feels like action to your brain, which is like, oh, well, yeah, when that happens, everything will be great. So I won't, you know, I won't do anything about this. Um, but it, it keeps you stuck because of that. And because it's so unlikely to happen, you just doing nothing basically so if you know that you're using magic wand thinking on a particular situation then you need to be honest with yourself and realize that that magical third solution doesn't exist and just note down what your actual options are in the situation what's actually likely to happen um, what the benefits are and what the consequences are if you're not making a choice if you've just been using magic wand on thinking to hope that somebody else or some other organization would change then um, the same principle applies but you don't need to make a choice you just need to remember that's unlikely to happen <laughs> um, I'm safest assuming that things are going to continue as they have before and then have a think to yourself if that's going to be the case what do I want to do about it answer might be nothing but it might also be that there is some action that you want to take uh, regardless you will start to move forward you're either moving forward into action or you're moving forward into acceptance you're not stuck in this place where you're avoiding reality by kind of ignoring that it's there uh, so that's magic wand thinking in a nutshell um, and that is the end of the climate change anxiety management series. So um, I hope you've learned something from this and that the techniques that I've covered um, have addressed some of the issues that you've had that have been increasing your anxiety and perhaps stopping you from engaging in action because you've been feeling overwhelmed. Um, if we haven't addressed your issues, then you can feel free to write to us at hello, H-E-L-L-O, at sageandsound.com.au, and we can do a video on your particular question. Um, and as always, if you want some more individualized support on how to work with this stuff, then you can book a session with us. You don't have to be in Brisbane. We do online appointments as well. Um, you just need to go into the booking system system at www.sageandsound.com.au and click book now to book an appointment and um, so um that's about it for me <laughs> that's the end of the series i really hope you found it helpful talk to you next time see ya